And do you have one moment that, I guess, like an origin story or something that brings you back to like, this was the peak. I was in a peak experience here. And if you could describe, I guess, for the listeners, what that felt like and what it took to be into that into that moment. Got goosebumps right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to Dr. Bob about this the other day. And funny enough, um, when I was lifting weights, the song came on the ra- weight room, okay? Rihanna. <laughs> Um, uh, what's the song name? It's I fell in love in a, in a hopeless place or something like that. Do you know that I song? have no idea what you're talking fell about. Fell in love in a hopeless place. Okay, I've heard it. No, it's like a Let's yeah. Just keep you singing it though. Kind of mel- yeah, right. Song. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, this takes me back to Cabo. Okay. Um, I didn't ever get a spring break until I could literally not compete <laughs> in 2012, and I said, you know what? I don't care. I'm, I'm just going to go. Yeah. A friend had invited me and um, it was a great time. It was one where I had, you know, me- athletics were out of the window. I was just there to just have fun, appreciate the beautiful just like, you know, beach and sand and, and just like, you know, this is what just people enjoying life is all about. And it was funny because my year back after that, having been away from track for so long, I had a heptathlon out in Idaho. I flew out with a new coach new couple teammates, and uh, we are doing the high jump. And I knew I had a great high jump practice. My PR before was 6'11 and a half. And um, uh, I knew that there were thoughts of, <clears throat> there was a meet going on at UW, back at UW at the same time. And I know that head coach and other people were like, we think Jeremy's looking amazingly strong. We think he's looking like he's going to set like some kind of record. He, we think we might go for the American record in the heptathlon high jump. I don't know. And uh, I knew that was going on, but I got to this meet and there was like, there was only like seven people competing. It was so low key and they had the music playing in the background. (laughs) And uh, I told my coach, I don't know what made me say it, but I I told him, I was like, Atanas, this high jump, I have a great feeling about it. I've already walked onto the track. I'm like, I'm going to do something special here. Don't tell me what the height is. Whenever we go up to the next bar, I don't want to know what the height is. I just want some coaching cues, but I just need to jump, you know? And the songs that I had heard in Cabo started coming on and playing while I was there. And I was just like, this is it, you know. (laughs) And with that, I was just like, I'm just I'm right where I need to be right now. Yeah. I'm enjoying every second of this. I'm having fun. I'm not miss. I haven't missed a bar and I'm going over. I knew in the back of my mind, I was like, okay, the second bar cleared, third bar cleared. I think I just jumped over seven feet for the first time. That's okay. I just jumped over and everyone. I think I might have had the American record at one point. I'm just going to keep going. You know, it was so fun. And people were just like freaking out. And my coach just he was just <laughs> shaking his head, just didn't know what to say. He's just like, keep doing it. You're, you're looking great, right? And uh, and then I remember I got to the last bar and I was just like, you know, just got super amped up. And I kind of drifted out of the flow a little bit. And I was just like really wanted to make it happen. I was trying to tap extra into the flow. I think I was doing a little more a little more Jedi forcefulness <laughs> than I than I thought I was equipped to do, but um I missed my last attempt at the bar and I <clears throat> I look over and she was like, um, do you know what you got out at? I was like, no. I was just I was just here to jump. She said, uh, you were attempting seven five and three quarters. You were attempting oh, like two twenty eight in the high jump. My PR before that was like I don't know, two eleven, so six eleven and wow. I was like, whoa. Really? And so I was like, so what did I jump? She's like, you jumped seven, four and a half. I had a five inch PR. And she's like, that's the uh, heptathlon world record in the high jump right now. Wow. I was like, what? Are you serious? <laughs> and it was just so, it was just so like, I don't know. It was just like, it shattered my athletic, like, belief. like you know what? You, you, you know you're capable of something and you always aspire to do something. But like, when it just happens, mm-hmm. when you're just like, they're not trying to force it to have fun. It just totally reshapes how you approach sport and what you think about it. Yeah. That was that moment right there. And, uh, you know, I was just, it was so cool. Went on to have, a, you know, the rest of a great meet. And uh, I, that was just the most crazy moment I've had in sports. Why'd you, why'd you tell them not to tell you the, the height? Were you just not trying to put a cap on what you felt like yes. you could do consciously? Yes, yes. Dr. Bob and I had talked about limiters. Mm. And uh, with that, a lot of athletes who do the high jump will talk about once the bar goes to seven feet, everything about their form, approach, mental, you know, attack just 
just changes, yeah. you know, because they're like, oh, this is this is like going under, you know, four minutes for the mile. This is like, you know, not ever supposed to be done. So mm. um, I decided to get rid of the limiters. Like if there's no one who can put limits on me, I already have limitless beliefs in what I can achieve. Why should I also let some inanimate thing determine what I can, you know, accomplish? That's kind of what it what That's it's been. Cool. I think everyone needs to adopt that as well. Like, yeah. you may have, you know, it's that moment from Pursuit of Happiness when Will Smith's talking mm. to his kid. Do not even let me tell you what you can and cannot do. Um, I think positive encouragement, positive self-encouragement, never putting limits on anything. It's a very, what people would say, unrealistic way to approach things are, but... You know, like they say, you shoot for the moon, you miss, you land on the clouds, you're in the stars. So it's just, it's, it's easy. Just don't, don't limit yourself.